YouTube family, my junk family, junk entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs. What up, though? It's Mr. AMG. Wanted to talk about something that can be very annoying, man, when you're advertising your business online and um, how to not lose your cool, man, how to not blow your beard when this type of thing happened, man. But before I do that, do me a favor, hit the like button, share, subscribe, drop a comment. Totally appreciate it. It helped the videos that I put out get found on YouTube. Um, so please hit those buttons, man, because I believe it's valuable information that can help out the next up and coming juncturepreneur, you know, um, entrepreneur uh, along his way. So I'm going to get right to it. I run ads sometimes on various platforms. Needless to say, Facebook, Facebook seems to always have these type of people that like to self-promote for free, all right? And what I mean by that is, is that I'll run an ad and you'll, I'll get comments, get likes, get some love. And there's always gonna be somebody in the comment box nine out of 10 times responding to a potential customer who asked us a question about our service. They take it upon themselves to at that user and say, hey, I can assist you with this and I can assist you with that. Now, this happened in the past to me and I think I made a video on it. Uh, I'm a bit more chill than I was back then. Never was over the top, even during that time when it happened. But um, I have a different mindset now. In the very beginning, I just couldn't fathom why someone else would, and I still to this day don't, but I kind of get it a little bit, you know, and, and it's basically because when I click on these pages of the people who's trying to promote themselves on my post an ad that I'm paying to run. I am paying to run, all right? And I click on their profile and I see a user profile of a car that's not even a, their car. It's like a stock photo, all right? Then you scroll through timelines and you don't see anything that has to do with the service they're trying to provide. When you look at the bio, there's no mentions of providing any type of service that they're trying to provide. Do you follow me right here, all right? Do you follow what I'm saying? Sometimes these people will do it just to annoy you. And the other half may actually be doing it to get free promo. But not over this way. The best thing to do when you see stuff like that happening is delete, delete and block. I've deleted and blocked a handful of people since I've started doing this and advertising online. And I'll delete and block with no problem. I'm not going to argue. I don't do the internet typing back and forth thing. I'm not going to get into a debate with anyone about my service on an ad that I'm promoting. You just block, get up out of here. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. So if you are starting a junk removal business, dumpster rental business, and hey, your pockets might not be all the way together and you want to run some ads to get your business together, get out there and pass out business cards and flyers. That's the cheapest and quickest thing to do. All right, get out there. Get out there and do that. Don't take the sleazy cheesy route and jump on somebody else's paid for a post trying to advertise yourself. That's cheesy, it's sleazy. And if I was a customer, a potential customer, and somebody added me in the comment section about a service they're trying to provide, I'm definitely not going with them because I'm looking at that person is like, yo, you can't even afford to run your own promo. I could just guesswork what type of, what type of, uh, what type of stuff you got going on? Y'all give me a second real quick. Up, yo, 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 yo. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, y'all, I'm back. So, just wanted to say, 
don't be that guy dropping comments on other people's paid promos, advertising your business. It's not a good look. It's a pay-to-play game for the most part until you get yourself out there organically, all right? Then everything organic, all right? For the most part, it's a pay-to-play game. If you ain't ready to pay, this ain't your lane. That's all I'm going to leave with y'all right there. I'm going to check y'all out on the next video. Drop a comment. Let me know if y'all experienced this since y'all been doing this. Let me know how y'all handled it. Peace.